The overall goal of this procedure is to label and capture 5-hydroxymethylcytosine, a newly discovered DNA modification. First, fragment the genomic DNA by sonication. Then, perform a beta-glucosyl transferase reaction to transfer azide glucose moieties to 5-hydroxymethylcytosine residues on the DNA. Using click chemistry, attach a disulfide biotin linker to the azide group to produce biotinylated DNA. Next, selectively capture the 5-hydroxymethylcytosine containing DNA fragments on streptavidin beads in a density independent manner. The purified 5-hydroxymethylcytosine enriched DNA fragments can be used for downstream analyses, including next generation sequencing. The main advantage of this technique over the existing approach like antibody-based approach is that the capture of 5-hydroxymethylcytosine is independent of 5-HMC density. Yu Jing Li, a senior research associate in the lab, will demonstrate this protocol. First, sonicate the genomic DNA to a size range suitable for the genome-wide sequencing platform. Verify the size distribution of the fragmented genomic DNA on a 1% agarose gel. Now, determine the starting DNA amounts based on the abundance of 5-hydroxymethylcytosine in genomic DNA. Since the 5-hydroxymethylcytosine varies significantly among different tissue types, starting DNA amount will depend on the level of 5-HMC of the samples. Please refer Table 1 in the manuscript.